bringing the people behind our food to life. I started looking into food waste about three years ago and I had a, a background of enjoying food and writing about food as a freelance journalist and I started to look into more environmental issues and the, the intersection of the two really happened at a shelter of a food recovery agency and food bank in Washington DC called DC Central Kitchen. While I was volunteering there I saw how much food usually gets thrown out if there isn't such a rescue group like this and I saw what nice stuff it was. You know, that really got me thinking about how much food isn't used across the U.S. and I gradually started to look throughout the food chain and was pretty surprised by what I found. And what did you find? I found that upwards of 40 percent of the food produced in the U.S. isn't consumed. Sometimes the numbers on the estimates might vary but anywhere from 25 to 50 percent um, of the food that we produce does not get eaten and I just I saw I, you see those numbers and it's it's kind of hard to fathom but then you go to the landfills and you go to the compost facilities and you see boxes of what looks like perfectly good broccoli and lettuce and fruits just being thrown away or composted and it starts to hit home a bit. Is this something that is an economic issue at, at, at the root of it? Or is it an environmental issue at the root of it? Is it a cultural issue? What is it that makes wasting food such an important problem? Well, I think wasted food really cuts across a lot of categories. Economics, sociology, environmentalism, and that's what makes it so interesting to me. Um, I mean, you can talk about cutting down on greenhouse gas emissions one day and then talk about World War II, the Depression, and how people valued food more in the past another day. Um, whenever I bring up the topic to people, folks really have a strong reaction one way or the other. People have thought about it in the past, and they've often wondered about what happens to all the food waste. But, um, but everyone has some sort of story or reaction and they want to talk about it. And I think that's because it's, it's kind of there, it's in the back of people's minds. Is this something that, by the way, is a new problem or is this a older problem that's gotten, that's just gotten worse? Well, food waste has always been around, but we used to have smart ways of dealing with it, whether it was composting or feeding it to animals. Uh, when people primarily lived on farms, which not too many Americans do these days, there was a built-in solution for excess food or food that was a little bit off. Uh, you just feed it to the hogs and that was a solution that worked for both you and the animals. In urban settings, as most people, or at least a good portion of Americans these days live in urban or suburban settings, that's not an option. And as more and more farms are moving away from the kind of diversified crop system that they used to have and towards monocultures, no one keeps hogs and grows crops at the same time. So that solution isn't there. Well, food waste isn't a uniquely American problem. It, it happens everywhere. In the UK, they just came out with a study that said one third of their foods don't get eaten. So it's it's kind of a first world problem um, and it's not specific to America in any way, shape or form, but there are other problems in the developing world as well. Most of those are more technological questions, maybe uh, poor refrigeration or transport of food isn't quite where it could be. Um, so I think there's a little bit, it's less blame on that kind of waste. Uh, whereas in the industrialized world, we don't have to waste food. It's just a choice that, that we've built our system this way. So the idea that we're building, building food waste into, as a cost of doing business, building into our system, that's definitely a, a choice we've made. Ultimately, what would you like to see accomplished? My main goal from the book and the site is just to bring awareness to the issue, to have 
people think about food and try not to waste it, have it be part of the conversation of environmentalism and the sustainable food movement. And there's nothing sustainable about throwing away almost half of what we produce.